Now we cross over to Mombasa where the Institution of Engineers of Kenya is rooting for the mentorship and government sponsored internship programs to build capacity within the profession. Engineers say the high cost of learning and limited job opportunities are some of the factors adversely affecting the engineering profession. 7.3% of registered engineers in Kenya are women as of last year, while 15.5% of contractors and 17% of registered quantity surveyors are women. There are huge opportunities for engineers in construction and in the three spaces that I mentioned, in Europe, particularly in Germany, in Austria, in Canada, in the Middle East, and many other places. Engagements are already ongoing between ourselves and these governments to help us structure migration and movements. Addressing delegates during the 30th IEK International Convention, the Diaspora Affairs Principal Secretary urged the Institution of Engineers of Kenya, which is a welfare body, to create linkages and partnerships to broaden job opportunities and welfare of engineers. Of course, you know the statistics are not very good, but we are working towards ensuring that that parity is actually breached in the near future. They called for empowerment of girls to take up sciences and mathematics courses as part of targeted efforts to increase the number of women in the engineering profession. The field of engineering is evolving quite, quite rapidly, demanding that all our approaches, perspectives and contributions evolve as well. Because if we don't, we'll just find ourselves as always being subservient, doing menial jobs, and no one will speak up for the need for engineers to be there making the decisions, driving the development of this nation. 15% of registered engineers in the country are women. And a majority of those who are studying engineering or those who have already graduated uh, after studying engineering are still not practicing engineering. That is a challenge that has been highlighted today on day one of the convention and a clarion call to government to relook on its policies and support the engineering fraternity in the country. I'm Regina Manyara reporting from Mombasa for KBC Channel 1.